So let me bring this into coach language. This, this, this will help you. This is good, good observation for coaches. You film your young players tonight, and uh, maybe 12 and under, let it go. External rotation, biomechanics, horrible phrase, but let me just explain what it is. Drop in the racket behind the body. That's all it is. Your arm goes down. You externally rotate. The arm goes away from you. That should be 180 degrees, which I can't actually demonstrate here without doing it under speed. The key is not that. Everyone kind of does that if they have a good chopper grip and a nice throwing action. The problem is this. If you look at this player, at maximum external rotation, i.e. the racket is dropped, it's those two frames, right? Let's go there. This is the problem. Can you see that her stomach is facing the net? At maximum external rotation, she's twisted open too early. That's the problem. So we need her to understand that if she does that, how can she have hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder? Because she would topple over like the lean and tower of Pisa and collapse parallel to on the baseline. So all she can do now is throw a racket and a trunk forwards to get some power. Now, if you look at the Sharapova here, and you can see from the image on the left, it's very, very different. Her shoulders, uh, sorry, her trunk and her stomach is sideways on to the net. And that's indicative of all the best female servers and almost all of the male servers. Juniors, slightly open. Females, a lot of females, way too open too soon. And the, the indicator I always use is that in maximum external rotation, when the racket is pointing towards the ground, where is the alignment of the trunk? Is it across the baseline, towards the net post, or fully towards the net? And the latter two are not what you want. Not what you want. Because look at this. This boy is a 10-year-old boy. So I know it's not just about physical strength. I know it for sure. There's no way that that female player at 25 is, is weaker than this 10-year-old boy who hasn't even hit puberty yet. No way. I'm not buying it. So I know it's not physical. Um,